hey guys this is pawan welcome to technical knowledge family in this video we'll try to learn sort command in unix if you really want to make your career in it industry and if you want to crack the interviews for multinational companies then kindly subscribe to our channel technical knowledge we'll keep on posting this technical and non technical videos now let's try to understand sort command in unix as far as sort command is concerned this is also one of the most asked questions in interviews if you're going for a unix interview we'll be doing practicals to learn sort command but before doing practicals in putty let's try to understand why we use sort command and what are the options available for us as far as sort command is concerned so why we use a sort command we use a sort command to sort the file or any particular field in a file okay if you want to sort a file or any field in a particular file then we use a sort command let me show you the file first this is the file that we are going to work upon so you can see that this particular file is a pipe delimited right every column every specific column is segregated with a pipe symbol so this is the delimiter right now we going to sort this file using the sort command now what are the options available with the sort command the first option is hyphen k hyphen k is to specify the field number the field which you want to sort so let's suppose that we have multiple fields available over here this is the first field this is second field this is third field so any particular field if you want to sort on the basis of a particular field if you want to sort your file then you need to use the hyphen k option right now the second option is hyphen t option hyphen t option is to specify the delimiter which delimiter you are using in your file all right and the third option is hyphen r option if you want to sort your data in the reverse order in the descending order then you need to go for a hyphen r option all right now these are the options available with the sort command now we will be learning the sort command on some use cases okay now what is the first use case the first use case is to sort the entire file now let's suppose that i want to sort the entire file then i'll be using this command okay let's directly jump upon the putty itself and there we will be running these commands so first of all let us see the data which is the data available in the file itself the file name is file underscore sort dot txt so this is the data that we have inside the file now let's try to understand and run this command what is the command the command is sort and simply the file name that is file underscore sort dot txt if i press enter you can see the file the entire file has been sorted on the basis of the first column itself first you can see 101 then 102 then 103 and respectively we can see the employee id column so in this way this particular file is sorted right if i want to sort the data in the reverse order then i'll be using this hyphen r option okay let us understand and try to run this command now what is the command the command is sort and then hyphen r option to sort the data in the reverse order and then of course your file name the file which you want to sort all right if i press enter then i can see my data has been sorted on the basis of the first column and it is sorted on the reverse order in the descending order itself now what is the second use case the second use case is that we want to sort the data on the basis of a particular field all right now let's try to understand and run this command now what is the command sort hyphen t is for delimiter we have given the delimiter as pipe because we have a pipe delimited file and then we have to use hyphen k option as i told you hyphen k is to specify the field on which field you want to sort the data so i want to sort the data on the basis of second field so that is why we have given hyphen k space 2 and then of course after you have to give your file name let us just press enter and see our data has been sorted on the basis of the second field so the name which is starting from d is on top and the name which is starting from r is at the bottom 
So if you want to sort the data on the basis of some specific field, you have to specify hyphen K option. Now, what is the third use case? The third use case is that we want to sort the data on the basis of a particular field, but we want to sort the data in a reverse order, in a reverse order. Now let us try to understand and run this command. Now what is the command? The command is sort hyphen T is for delimiter, our delimiter is pipe hyphen K and two we want to sort the data on the basis of second field and we have given hyphen R over here, right? And of course at last our file name. Let us press enter. Now we can see that the data has been sorted on the basis of second column and it has been sorted in the reverse order, right? Now we can run the same command in this syntax also. So what is the changes? Sort hyphen T and the delimiter is pipe hyphen K. Now instead of using the hyphen R separately, we are giving two R. So it will sort the data on the basis of second column and in a reverse order. You can see the same output. All right. I hope this use case is also clear. If you also want to learn the awk command, grab command, cut command, find command or any other command in Unix, I have given the link in the description box. You can check out those videos in the description box and you can also check those videos in the I button. Now, what is the fourth use case? The fourth use case is that I want to sort my data on the basis of a date column. All right, let's suppose that we have a date given inside a file. Okay. And we want to sort the data on the basis of a date and that date column is given as the eighth column in a file. Then this will be the command. Now let us try to understand and run this command. Now, what is the command? The command is sort hyphen T and the delimiter is pipe hyphen K. I want to sort my data on the basis of some specific column. Let's suppose that I want to sort my data on the basis of this date column and this particular date is given in the eighth column, right? So I will give eight. Okay. Now I want to sort my data on the basis of some year. So as far as this year is concerned, at which number that year is given? one two three four five six and seven and eight right so i have to sort my data on the basis of this eighth column inside this eighth column i have to give the seventh position and the eighth position right this is the seventh position in the eighth position so this will be my command hyphen k 8.7 you have to give a comma over here and again 8.8 .8 and space and of course at last you have to give your file name let us just press enter and the data will be sorted on the basis of the year itself, right? Now you can see 2011, 2013, 2016, 2019, 2020 and 2021. So this is how if a date is given, then you can sort your data on the basis of a date column by giving the position of that particular year. This is also one of the most interview asked question. If you want to sort your data on the basis of some date, I hope this particular use case is also clear. Now, what is the next requirement or use case that we need to understand? If we want to sort the data numerically, right? Then we have to use sort hyphen n option. All right. Let me show you a file then it will be even more easy for you to understand. We have a file called num file. Okay. If I open that file, some numbers are given in this file. Okay. But the numbers are not given in a proper order. We want to sort this data. Now, if we sort the data without any hyphen n option, then you will be getting the output like this sort and a file name so it is only sorting your data on the first digit itself right the overall number has not been sorted so if you want to sort your file which has a number then you have to specify the hyphen n option so let us just try to 
run this command which is sort hyphen n and of course your file name itself now let us just press enter now you can see that your data has been sorted properly okay your data has been sorted on the whole number not on a first digit itself now what is the next requirement or use case that we need to see the next option that we have is sort hyphen u it is also one of the most important use cases of a sort command why we use a sort hyphen u to remove the duplicate line and copy the unique rows into a separate file now let's suppose that if we have a duplicate rows available in a file and we want to eliminate that duplicate occurrence and we only want to see the unique record in the file itself then we have to use the sort hyphen u option all right now let us try to understand and run this command but before running this command let us try to explore the file itself that which is the file on which we have a duplicate record this is the file now you can see the last row is a complete duplicate row right this row number 8 and row number 9 is a complete duplicate row now in my final occurrence i do not want to see this duplicate output i only want to see a single occurrence from this duplicate row then we have to run this command now what is the command sort hyphen u of course the file name itself and then i have given a pipe symbol now what is that pipe symbol the output from this command the output from this entire command will be the input for this command these are two separate command right so whatever output we will be getting we are passing this output as an input to this command and after the pipe we have used the t command what is that t command t command will copy that particular data into the file1.txt and it will also display the data on your screen all right this is t command now let us press enter you can see that duplicate occurrence is not there right and there is one file should be created that is called file1.txt so all the unique rows will go into that particular file itself you can see that file1.txt let me open that file and there is no duplicate occurrence only a single occurrence for that particular duplicate row is over here so this is the sort command i hope you have learned something from this video if you like the video then hit the like button give me feedback in the comment section your likes and your comment is the motivation for us to create such content till then be safe complete your vaccination keep learning keep smiling until we meet again this is pavan signing off